good evening YouTube this is another video um, for how to uh, work with your Mustang harness um, this one tonight is a request because last night I was working on another uh, harness but I did get a request to discuss how to eliminate the EGR uh, valve connector with uh, resistors and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that tonight to show uh, show the subscribers how to do it um, so anyway I'm still downstairs in my basement um, where it's warm and uh, I should be able to take care of this tonight and uh, go through it so what I'm gonna do is this is a standard engine harness it hasn't been touched um, it's from one of my harness my core so I'm going to eliminate the EGR connection how do I find the EGR connection it's on the this is the back of the harness right here okay this would be the back of the engine this would your, be your banks um, looking from the back passenger side looking forward uh, this would be your five six seven eight um, no I'm even confused this would be your one two three four so it's back here by your fourth cylinder on your passenger side um, of your harness okay so anyway this is your salt and pepper shaker we just moved this out of the way and you'll find the little branch that sticks up and along here would be your throttle position sensor which you're going to leave Okay, that's your connector to your TPS. And then your EGR, which is co-located with your throttle position sensor on the, um, on the upper plenum. Okay, now this one is a three-wire connection. There's three ports that we deal with. You can see one's a plug, so one's a dummy. And we deal with three wires in here, okay? And this is tricky, uh, you have to remember, because a lot of people like to, I've, I've talked to guys that have taken this thing off and way back by the harness, uh, by the computer they've soldered their resistors in only to find out that this one wire in here it's the uh, it's hard to see in this dirt but there's three connectors and the black one with white is 27 if I'm not mistaken and then the red one if I can see it in here maybe my colors are a little different um, but one of them is 26 and that's the tricky one because that's a shared signal return all right, so if you look at my diagram, this is where we're going to work from. Here's my connector on the left. Okay, that's this. All right, oriented just like that. And I have pin 26, this wire here. Okay, pin 26 is a shared connection. It, it's used by other sensors. And here's just the standard diagram that you've seen everywhere online. Uh, and you can see 26. I'm going to try and point it out for you. 26 is used not only by the EGR, but it's also used by the MAP, okay? Um, and it's also used by the, the TPS itself. So those are three different entities that are using that same wire circuit, okay, back to the same pin. So you make sure to do this the proper way is you put your resistors out here in the engine harness. Uh, again, speaking from experience, people have put them all the way back uh, and cut the wire 26 off and did this circuit with the resistors, which I'll show you, but they eff effectively eliminated the, the usage of the, of the map and the 26, uh, I mean, uh, and the throttle position sensor, and just by cutting out 26 all the way back to the harness. So if you do it up here, it's really not that big a deal to fold the resistors up and wrap them up and just kind of get them out of your way when you're done. Okay, so that's the first step. And again, let's look at what we're going to do. We're going to connect these three resistors okay and we're going to wire them in such a way that we're going to basically eliminate the need for an EGR valve all right so this the resistors I use are right here okay I use 3.9 K ohm uh, half watt resistor for two of them for these two connections here and then a 390 ohm um, 12 watt resistor as you can see for this connection right here and it shapes up pretty well Here's the resistors, okay, you can see them. I got them at Parts Express online, okay. There's my, uh, those my 39,000 ones, or 3.9K or whatever I call them. Okay, there's a couple in here. I just need one of those. Um, and then, excuse me, I need two of those. And then I got a bunch of the other kind. Where is it? Right here. Okay, 39K. Uh, 39, 390 ohm. Okay, so here's the other kind here too. So I have a couple packs. Again, I just ordered these on Parts Express 
Uh, that's the name of the place. You Google them. I think they sell speakers and audio stuff, so they're easy to get there. Um, so that's what I'm starting with. I'm going from this diagram right here, and I'm going to remove this connection right here, and I'm going to solder it up. So my next video, because I'm not good at editing, um, is going to go ahead and show this when it's done, and I'll go through everything with uh, what I did at, at that point. Okay, so we'll see you in the next round.